Hello learners! This is Teacher Kimberly and welcome to my channel. Halina't makinig at matuto ng mga pamamaraan at konsepto sa mathematics sa aking tutorial video. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag kalimutang mag-like, share at subscribe. Pindutin din ang notification bell button para maging updated ka sa mga susunod kong video. In my last tutorial, I discussed all about subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions. This time, I will teach you on how to change improper fraction to mixed numbers and vice versa. Let us have first a review about fraction. A fraction is a part of a whole. It also represents one or more equal parts of a whole object. For example, a one whole pizza. But if we divide the pizza into four equal parts, we can express this in fraction as four fourths or one whole. Pero kung kinain na ang isang parte ng pizza, we can express the remaining parts as three fourths. Kung saan ang number na nasa itaas ng fraction bar na three ay ang tinatawag na numerator. At ang number naman na nasa ibaba ng fraction bar na 4 ay ang tinatawag na denominator. At dahil mas mababa ang numerator na 3 kaysa sa denominator na 4, ito ay matatawag na proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator. At kung mas mataas naman ang numerator kaysa sa denominator, katulad ng 7 over 4, ito ay tinatawag na improper fraction. Ang improper fraction ay ang fractions kung saan ang numerator ay mas mataas o mas malaki kaysa sa denominator. We can also visualize the improper fraction 7 over 4 Using figures. As you can see, we have two circles. Seven parts of the circle is shaded, and each circle is equally divided into four parts. That is why the improper fraction is 7 over 4. And we can also express this in this form. As you can see, in the first figure, all the four parts of the circle is shaded, and we can say that this is one whole. In the second figure, only the three parts of the circle is shaded, and we can express this as three-fourths. And because of that, we can say that seven over four is the same as one and three-fourths. And if we represent a whole number and fraction together, we can call this as mixed numbers. A mixed number is a whole number and the proper fraction represented together. It generally represents a number between any two whole numbers. But how can we change improper fraction to mixed numbers? To change an improper fraction to mixed number, divide the numerator by the denominator and express the remainder, if any, as a fraction. In changing improper fraction to mixed number, we need to remember the following. First, write the quotient as a whole number. Second, the remainder becomes the numerator of a fraction. Third, the divisor becomes the denominator. And the last is, express the fraction in its lowest term if needed. For example, 7 over 4. As you can see, the numerator 7 is greater than the denominator, which is 4. That is why it is called an improper fraction. So, to change it into mixed number, we will use the numerator 7 
as our dividend. And our divisor is the denominator, which is 4. Now, we will divide the numerator 7 by the denominator, which is 4. So, 7 divided by 4 is equal to 1. And multiply 1 to the divisor, which is 4. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Now, let us subtract. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Since we cannot divide 3 by 4, 3 will be our remainder. And to change the improper fraction 7 over 4 into mixed numbers, we will use the quotient 1 as the whole number. And we will use the remainder, which is 3, as the numerator. And for the denominator, we will just affix or copy the denominator, which is 4. So, we can say that 7 over 4 is the same as 1 and 3 fourths. Another example, 15 over 7. The numerator 15 will be our dividend and the denominator 7 will be our divisor. Next, we will divide the numerator 15 by the denominator, which is 7. So, 15 divided by 7 is equal to 2. And multiply the result to the denominator, which is 7. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Then, subtract. So, 15 minus 14 is equal to 1. And since we cannot divide 1 by 7, it will be our remainder. So, to change the improper fraction 15 over 7 into mixed number, we will use the quotient, which is 2, as the whole number. And our numerator will be the remainder, which is 1. And we will just copy or affix the denominator, which is 7. So, we can say that the improper fraction 15 over 7 is the same as 2 and 1 over 7. But how can we change mixed numbers to improper fraction? First, multiply the denominator by whole number. Second, add the numerator to the product of the denominator and whole number. Third, affix or copy the denominator. For example, change mixed numbers 1 and 5 over 9 to improper fraction. So first, multiply the denominator by the whole number. So 9 times 1 is equal to 9. Then add the numerator to the product of the denominator and whole number. So 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. And lastly, affix or copy the denominator which is 9. So, we can say that 1 and 5 over 9 is the same as 14 over 9. Another example, 2 and 7, 8. First, multiply the denominator, which is 8, to the whole number, which is 2. So, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Next, add the numerator, which is 7, to the product of the denominator and the whole number. So, 16 plus 7 is equal to 23. And lastly, affix or copy the denominator which is 8. So, when we change mixed numbers 2 and 7 over 8 into improper fraction, the result is 23 over 8. Another example, 3 and 5 over 10. First, multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, 10 times 3 is equal to 30. And add the numerator to the product of the denominator and the whole number, which is 30. So, 30 plus 5 is equal to 35. And lastly, affix or copy the denominator, which is 10. So, 35 over 10. And if we change mixed numbers 3 and 5 over 10 into improper fraction, 
the result is 35 over 10. That's all for today's tutorial and I hope that you learned something from me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and also hit the notification bell button so that you'll get updated for my next video. Thank you for watching!